For the first time in 24 years, voters in Marlin ISD will decide if a proposed bond should pass or not. The district will have two propositions on the ballot in November, totaling $32 million. Six News anchor Bailey Bates sat in on the first bond information meeting earlier tonight. She joins me now live in studio with what was discussed. Bailey? Chris, many questions were answered tonight, including why the school district needs $32 million. And citizens tell me it seems like a lot, but at the end, they really feel it's all necessary. A historical move by Marlin ISD. A $32 million bond will be in the fate of voters come November, a decision that hasn't had to be made since 1998. Understanding that that is two generations of K through 12 coming through our school system without a bond being passed. In the district's first bond information meeting Wednesday night, Superintendent Dr. Daryl Henson told voters what they need to know. He also showed them what could be fixed with the help of the bond like brown water, leaky ceilings, and structural damage. The city's growing, all the programs are growing, so it might be good, good change for, for the district overall. Proposition A, valued at $24.5 million, would fund a complete remodel and renovations at Marlin High School. It will also provide school safety and security upgrades at Marlin Elementary and Middle Schools. Modernizing all entrances at all three campuses, as well as making sure that all exterior and interior doors have the appropriate locks. Proposition B is for renovations of Legion Field. $7.5 million would provide new turf, track, a press box, and scoreboard. Restrooms in the parking lot would also see changes. I don't think we should let that 32, you know, million dollars scare us. At the end of the day, it doesn't sound like it's, it's a lot. The tax increase will be 47 cents on the debt service side. But understand that Marlin ISD currently does not have a debt tax rate. If the proposed bond passes, a $100,000 home would be looking at around $23 per month more on their tax bill. But for some parents, it's worth the investment as it's a better education for their students. The, the district is showing they're doing something with their money and it's going in the right places. You can only take the, the risk and hope for the best. Now, Marlin ISD says they will be holding several more bond information meetings in the coming weeks. The last day to register to vote is October 11th. Election day will be November 8th. Quickly approaching, Chris. I'm telling you what, tomorrow, September 1st. You're absolutely right. Bailey Bates, live at studio. Thank you, Bailey.